I'd like to welcome everybody to the third annual First Day celebration and specifically to the art exhibit at Onatrue. This has been going on for years and to uh, <laughs> steal something from a rather prominent gentleman, it is huge! And I'd like to hand over to the lady who actually organized it and got it moving this year. We, we work very closely together with our curator, Alex McFarland, and... Um, Who's not as good a tennis player as he thinks he is, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he's, you know, he's amazing and he did hang the show and uh, Alex has been doing this for many years since the 90s. And we have so many artists in Lewisboro. We're so happy the supervisor has supported the arts in Lewisboro and encouraged talent. Would you like to make a few more comments about your interest in art? My interest in art is eccentric. I don't, I love the constables and, and the place I came from. I will admit I am not the greatest fan of modern art, but I understand that a lot of people are. And we should encourage it because what we need is a community that is at home with nature and at home with culture. And that is what I will try to encourage. And our shows throughout the years have emphasized various aspects of our natural environment, our Audubon group, and our Lewisboro Horsemen's Association, um, the activity of horseback riding in Northern Westchester, and we hope to do more along these lines to uh, show the natural beauty of our parks and um, our environment. I'd like to introduce Alex McFarlane. He's the curator of the First Day Art Show uh, in the town of Lewisboro and uh, at Onatru Park and Onatru Gallery. Alex, would you like to mention a little bit about how long these shows have been going on? Uh, they started maybe 15 years ago, and then there was a little hiatus, and then uh, I would say about five years ago we started up again, and we've been doing at least two shows a year. I see. And we're constantly and always looking for artists uh, who live in Lewisboro. Yes, and Lewisboro is very close to the Katona Museum, yeah. and uh, we've had a good cooperation between the Katona Museum Artists Association and our two residents who co-chair that group, uh, Mitch Kunzman and Bernie Mendich. Mm -hmm. And you have worked, and I have worked closely with them over the years, and um, would you like to tell me a little bit about your interest in art and your background? Uh, my interest in art, well, I'm an artist. And I went to art school and I've been fortunate enough to be able to do it my whole life. I managed to um, always be able to do my art. Uh, primarily sculpture to begin with, and uh, then I moved into painting and uh, constructions. Uh, and I teach at the Silvermine School of Art. And uh, it's uh, good. It's all good. It's, I have to <laughs> say that you're very lucky to be involved your entire life with what you love to do. Yeah. And true. not many people are able to do that. They have to compromise. And sometimes they take a full-time job and they do art when they can. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they go into it in their retirement. But I'm so delighted that you have been able to do this your entire life and participate in the shows and could you talk a little bit about your interest in construction uh, some of your pieces are a little geometrical well um, constructivism okay i mean i don't put them out of constructivism okay um, this sculpture here uh, started off as a kind of a standard uh, geometric sculpture and then uh, what i did was I burned it away, it's styrofoam, and I burned it away a lot more because I wanted it to be ancient, yes. I mean, standing there forever. Uh, and also I spray painted it with uh, 
the lack of uh, micro, not lacquer, uh, the, the, the paint, the, the paint away the texture. Oh, to get the texture. Yeah. It looks yeah. like a very heavy piece. Oh, yeah. And, and is, would you like me to show you how heavy it is? <laughs> sure. It, it's, it's almost, um, it's almost about two pounds. But it looks very heavy. And, um, I would love to see this thing cast in iron and just give it that mass. So it's, you know, it has a little bit of a sci fi feeling. Yes. Something that uh, it looks very ancient, but actually uh, comes from someplace in the future. Someplace in the future. Yes. Well, that's, you know, so much of art sometimes captures the past, and uh, people have said that that artists are not appreciated until several years pass. And, well, they do. I mean, look what happened in the 60s. And um, with the op art and, and Warhol and so on. And it took, you know, some of it was bought immediately, and some people just need to keep looking. And uh, then they began to appreciate what was a reflection of the time they lived in. Would you like to talk well, like it. a little bit? We're getting a little too oh, heavy and all that okay. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like uh, to talk about your print? Uh, well, this is a pencil drawing. It's a what pencil? It's a drawing, yeah. A pencil, pencil drawing? drawing? Okay. And uh, again, uh, I did a whole series of uh, oh. architectural fantasies. Oh. Uh, and that's basically, that, that, that was just a... Mood, just, you know, mysterious. Yeah, it looks like objects. A, a rocket into a building. Well, it's kind of like what it is. Kind of like what it is. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Well, I hope it's only a fantasy. It's only a fantasy. <laughs> Absolutely. Sue Simon is a resident of Cross River, and she is attending the reception, and she's our town justice, and appreciates the arts as well. Sue, would you like to um, give us a few comments about the show and, and what we're doing here in Lewisboro? I think that I can't think of a better place to spend first day of a year, 2017 and other years, with neighbors and friends, and we're so fortunate in town have so much talent and such a diverse uh, group of artists who work in so many different media. So it's fascinating to see the art and also exciting that so many of the artists are here today to explain their work. I wish everyone a happy and healthy new year. Thank you so much and I'm so happy that you came today and you're such a fan of the arts in Lewisboro. We do have so many recognized internationally artists. Right behind you we have uh, Tom Christopher's piece and uh, he's well known. He's been overseas to uh, talk about art and teach art and do murals. And we also have Gail Lee's work here on the wall and she's been a long time resident of Lewisboro. And um, her work is much appreciated, as well as Tom's. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for organizing. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time nice. coming here. Hi, I'm Bill Bongiorno, a Lewisboro resident, and I'm an artist and a writer, and I work in pencil and charcoal, uh, drawing realist yeah. art. I'd like to uh, add beauty to the world. Um, we can all add beauty to the world in our own way, and add to the landscape of our community. And I look forward to everyone coming out, hopefully, in the next month. Uh, we're here until January 29th. Uh, and come and look at your neighbor's art and, and get a feeling for, for what your neighbors have to add to the community from an artistic point of view. Thank you, Bill. And could you tell us a little bit about your pictures here? Sure, sure. Um, this one's a, a gentleman I saw who I thought he had a strong presence called Dashing Man, and uh, this one was just a beautiful woman I had seen, and I just thought she was striking, and this is called Beauty Beware, and uh, they're both pencil and charcoal on paper, and um, I have more <laughs> to share, maybe at the July show uh, that they have uh, in the summer, and I look forward to more people coming out to see the great art. Well, I, I think this is a uh, very very good that you're involved with uh, 
more realistic work. Uh, we just spoke to the supervisor and he talked about the natural beauty in Lewisboro and all the artists we have here with great talent. So we hope to do more and have more shows and perhaps even do some lectures about art. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me, Evelyn. Elisa Belisacos. Very good. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And participating in our art show the first day. And um, as was previously mentioned, we do have these shows um, uh, always on January 1st. Now, would you like to just say a few comments about where you're a resident and perhaps a little bit about yourself and how you became interested in art? Okay, well, first of all, I want to say I'm honored to be in this show. Uh, I originally am from New York City. I studied at the Art Students League in New York City for five years and had my st own studio for many years in, in the city. And I now live in Cross River. Um, my paintings are rice paper on canvas and acrylic paint. And what I do is I pour washes of acrylic paint onto the rice paper and then I rip off the rice paper and then I decide which side I like and I adhere it back on to the canvas. And this, the name of this painting is, is I Will Always Be With You. And this one here is for I am here, I am all, for I am always here with you. They're sort of very spiritual. Hi, I'm Leslie Canito. I live in South Salem, New York. I've been painting for a long time. And uh, I write children's books and do more mystery dinner parties. I write them and perform them. But um, primarily, I uh, am an artist. And these, this is well, my piece is right here. You are. You sound like you're a very uh, creative, innovative person, doing writing and uh, visual art. And it's exciting to have you participate in the show. And what prompted your interest in art? What prompted my interest in art? Um, I've always been a drawer and a writer. Um, these, this particular um, series of work um, is about evolution and how it connects with human behavior. And um, this particular piece is made with all different kinds of mediums. There's chalk in here, and um, these are hot encaustics and oil paint. Um, so they're kind of interesting. Yes, they are. And what is the title of this piece? Uh, disco. So sometimes the words don't go. Disco with the quahogs. <laughs> this is a commentary on the oh, Merriam-Webster dictionary sound of the word disco. And it's sort of a pun because they are discs um, in the picture. The, the shape of the animal is round, but there's no way they can actually dance and do disco, so it's kind of a pun. Well, I hate to say this, but they do look a little bit like clams. Yeah, they a are little clams. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So and they live for 500 years. Five, really? Yes. Oh, I didn't the know. picture behind you is yes. a jellyfish. It's, um, it lives infinitely. It, it, um, grows up and then it goes back to its childhood so it lives forever and they're only something like five centimeters big they're tiny and have just been discovered it looks so large here well, we have a good peek into it my name is Evelyn Kahlo and um, I'm helping Alex McFarlane who's the curator of our first day show and this is one of the pieces of my artwork that I have in the exhibit it's called Infinity One. It's a, a um, brush painting that was done and reproduced by means of a photographic silkscreen print. And um, the idea is to show motion and define space and um, give you a feeling that it doesn't end. So, and that's like our first day show. We've had it for several years, and we have uh, very much support in our community, and we hope to continue doing the first day, 
and look forward to doing the show that is in conjunction with the 4th of July celebration in the town of Lewisboro, where we have many artists who are contributing to our exhibits. Let me introduce Gail Lee. She's the artist who is participating in our show, and this is her artwork. And Gail, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and your how long you've lived in Lewisboro? Well, I've been here for 40 years, and then in those years, I was a potter for at least 25 years, so a lot of people had my pots around, and I was a photographer for a number of years, so, and then I've been making, uh, doing painting and printmaking for about the last 15 years, so I'm not changing again. <laughs> okay, so this is, um, this is a painting or an acrylic? It's a it's acrylic on paper, uh -huh. and um, yeah, I've been doing that. They're sort of layered pieces, and I've got so many. And but lately, just in the last month or two, I got a, an iPad Pro with a magic pencil for Christmas, and I've been doing amazing digital pieces. So and it's so nice, no mess, no cleanup, but really some very intricate pieces that I'm excited about. I would like to introduce uh, Anne Marie Tevelman. Uh, this is one of her paintings, very traditional, which is not a dirty word. No. Uh, it's all about visual communication, about the mood, and it's essentially about uh, something that Anne Marie saw and it said, paint me. This is not an, uh, an intellectual conundrum at all, but it's very unique. The medium is very unique. Uh, it is not traditional watercolor. It doesn't look like traditional watercolor, and neither does it really look like other mediums that you might see. Uh, for example, just, just the light and everything that's glowing through this painting uh, is unique. So basically, the question is, how did you paint it, technically speaking? Okay, well I, I start out with treated watercolor paper. I use a, a, a glaze on it, either a, a medium glaze or a glazing medium that's either a high varnish or just a matte finish. So I treat my paper and this way it gives me the opportunity to lift paint off the paper. So what I do, I like to go and paint outside, so I try to find places where I can paint outside with different teachers at Silvermine and Alex and even the Katona Art. I paint it outside with them too. I love to set up outside. I like to see, uh, uh, I look around for a spot that I like and I just paint, like Alex said, that moment. And I get an impression from that moment and I let loose. And then, of course, you continue to paint sometimes afterwards. Yes, I'll take back it in the studio. Yes. Yeah, I bring it back, and then I'll, I'll, I'll pick out more stuff, I'll add more stuff, um, and I'll just make it work until I get to a point where I like it. But the first impression, when I first am there painting, that's my best impression. Well, and yeah, I that's try the moment. Not, yeah, I try not to move too far away from I it. I call it uh, putting down the notes, catching yeah. the notes, and then later in the studio you can refine it. Uh, so we have here uh, Mitch Kunzman, two of his, I guess you could almost call them drawings. Uh, drawings. Drawings. And uh, this one is the uh, river. River landscape. River landscape. And this one is a numeric. Smoke numeric. Smoke numeric. Very suggestive title. I'd like to introduce Helen Kunzman, and she is the artist who did this beautiful, what's the title? Uh, a blue banded pop. Blue banded pop. Great. So, um, but first of all, I think you want to say something about the exhibit itself. I was wanting to say that today is the first day of 2017 and Alex and Evelyn put on a wonderful show. There's been a tremendous amount of people coming in today. So turnout. You know? Unbelievable turnout. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is a wonderful um, benefit for the people of Lewisboro. And I feel delighted to be in the show. Thank you for having it. And um, I have two pieces here. Um, one of which is my blue banded pot.
You're watching Lewisboro Community Television, Channel 20.